Welcome back to the vlog. This is actually number nine of my 12 days of Christmas series. So we're almost there. We're almost at the end. If you've been following along, thank you so much. It really does mean a lot. And I want to take the opportunity now to say if you like this video, if you have liked my past videos, please do consider subscribing because it really does help me create more content for you guys. In the new year, I really want to take YouTube more seriously and try to post more, so it would be really helpful if I had your support. I wanted to do a little 72 hours before Christmas vlog. It is going to be like a get myself together, just a weekend in my life type vlog. I have a ton of things to get done before Christmas. This is the list, I'll put it up here. So we have a lot to get done. And I'm starting off today. I'm gonna be heading to a few stores because I want to pick up a few things. And then, as you saw, we're tidying as we go this weekend around the house, just making sure it is clean and put together for our guests. This evening, we're gonna be heading to one of my friend's pop-ups, which should be very cool and interesting. And then tomorrow is basically the final hours, so I have a Pilates class that I really want to get to. I have a hair appointment, which I'm excited about. I know a lot of you, I don't know if you'll be watching this video, but a lot of you that watched my extensions vlog were asking about how much I got put in. So this is going to be an opportunity for me to let you guys know, and I'm going to be able to ask my hairstylist what she did and how much hair I had when I had my extensions. I wanted to get that information for you guys before the new year. And then we'll just be prepping some meals and just getting ourselves together for Christmas day. I really wanna do a little bit of a self-care evening tomorrow night and just make sure that I'm getting in a nice facial and chilling out a bit before all of the Christmas festivities happen. So that is the plan for this vlog. We'll see what we can get to. So I just got back home and I picked up everything that I needed and I thought I would share just some of the things that I got. I went into So Strain Green and picked up a few things that I needed for Christmas Day and we're having a friend's holiday party after Christmas so I wanted to get a few things as well for that. After making that angel food cake, I had a ton of egg yolks and I don't want to waste them, I don't want to throw them away so I was talking to my mom and she suggested that I make sabignon which is like a Italian like creamy, almost like an eggnog but you can have it for dessert over some like fresh berries or you could do like a tri-layer dessert but I'm just going to do some fresh strawberries on the bottom and then like a spiral cookie on top just to make it a little festive I'll put a picture here if you're not sure of Zabignon, what it is, but it's really good. It's an easy dish to make, but I really want to put them in glasses, and I found these really pretty martini glasses from Sostrine Green Regrenes. I'm not trying to say it, but I think they're really pretty, so I got a few of those, and we needed a few anyway. We only had two martini glasses, so I got four more. They were eight francs, so not bad. And then for our little party that we're having, I wanted to set up the kitchen because we're doing more of like an appetizer situation. And I also wanted to do a sink bar where you put like ice in your sink and you put all the wine and champagne inside it. And then on the side, I want to do a nice little like glass display with the glasses that I got. And I wanted to add some candles around the kitchen. So I got some of these candle holders that I think are very pretty and I could use them all year round. I think they would go really nicely in our home. And then I just got some candlesticks to go with it. I got two of each and then I also just got this candle base because I do have this candle that I wanted to add and I needed a base for it. And then I have some glass 
vases and I have two floating candles. So all of these are gonna be like scattered around in the kitchen, that's what I'm envisioning. I'm gonna be vlogging that day, so I'll share with you guys how it all ends up. But I needed just a few things so I can put it all together. Finally, I got this mixing bowl because I just need this to be able to mix the zabignon over boiling water and I didn't have a bowl. And then I got the Dr. Jarp Correcting Solution. So this like cleanses impurities and leaves the skin looking fresh. I, as I mentioned, want to do a little self-care evening tomorrow night. I'm gonna be doing a whole at-home facial and I needed a mask and I wanted to try this one. I love Dr. Jarts masks and for me, they just work really well. So I got that and then I also needed some more hyaluronic acid. I really like the Inky List just because they are affordable. Um, they have really clean products and I just needed something because my skin is really dry right now and this will definitely help me kind of even out my skin tone and make it more hydrated and plump. I also picked up a few makeup products because I really am trying to do this like very clean, sparkly, just simple makeup routine. So I just got the Essence Hydro Hero 24 hours hydrating tinted cream. I just feel like I needed a face tint so I picked up this one and it's hydrating so that's important it also has SPF 15 so we'll see how that goes and then I just wanted to get some more lip products so I have it on my lip right now and I actually really love it this is the Catrice plumping lip liner um, it's in the color starring roll it's a little bit of a brown and then I also got which I really love it's the Catrice Powerful 5 Lip Care. It has hyaluron, watermelon, goji berry, cucumber, and ginger root. And automatically when I put it on, my lips just feel so like moisturized. And it has a tint of color, which I think is really nice. I'm not a huge lipstick person. So if I can get something that has little tints of color and is also like hydrating and helping my lips be very supple and like soft, then I'm here for it. This is the color Addicting Cassis and I'll put it on my hand. So you can see a little bit. It's not like super heavy. It's more of like a glossy texture. And I really think it's really pretty. They had a lighter one, which I might go back for. That was also really pretty, but I think this one's nice for the holidays and like the winter time, a little bit of a darker color. So it's very much a self-care day today. As you saw, I just did my Charlotte Tilbury cryo mask. I haven't been doing that as often as I want to, and I need to start doing it more because it just feels so good in the morning. It's kind of like when you do your ice roller, but you kind of just sit there and chill with it on. It's really nice. I have Pilates in a little bit, and then after Pilates, I'm gonna come back, freshen up, and then head to my hair appointment because it is time to cut this hair. It is in desperate need of a haircut. And then I'll come back and we'll get into my skincare routine. Again, very chill, very self-care type of day today.
been a minute since I got home from my hair appointment and I'm very happy with my hair. It's so much cleaner and healthier looking. I did ask my hairstylist how much of the keratin bonds I had in my hair for those of you that were wondering and she said I had 125 pieces in my hair so it's a ton but that's how many I had if you were one of those people that commented on my extensions vlog but now I'm getting into my facial and I wanted to share all of the products I'm going to be using including the devices that I usually use for my at-home facial I don't do this all the time. I try to at least once a month and that doesn't always happen, maybe every other month, but it just really does help me and especially in these colder months, I need all the help I can get with my skin. It's super dry and just I need to give it the moisture it needs. So let me share the products with you guys. I have everything lined up in the order that I use it. So first, I'll use the Oat Cleansing Balm by Inky List. I really love this stuff just to get all of my makeup dirt off my skin, making sure that it's clean before I go in with my cleanser. I've been using the CeraVe cleanser right now. Sometimes I use the La Roche-Posay F-Clear, but I feel like that was a little bit harsh for my skin right now in the drier months, so I've switched back to CeraVe. And I'll use my Vanity Planet little red light scrubber. Then after that, I'm going to use the Dr. Jart mask. And then after the mask, I'm going to use the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Then I'll go over with this Scars and Blemish Serum. I've been really liking it just because I do have some scarring from acne, so this has been really helping me. Then I'll use the Ordinary Caffeine Solution for under my eyes. I've been really loving this Bioma, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's this hydrating serum, and it's been really nice. It hasn't been affecting my skin with like breakouts or anything. I just feel like it's been really helping me hydrate more. Then to finish it off, I'll use my Paula's Choice Oil-Free Moisturizer. This is in her clear collection and it's honestly the only face moisturizer I'll use at night just because I feel like it doesn't clog my pores and it actually helps me if I do have some active breakouts. And then the final product that I've been loving is this Tula Moisturizing Lip Mask. My friend actually gave this to me when she asked me to be her bridesmaid and it's been amazing as you can see I've been using it and I've really been loving it and going into my devices so if you aren't new here you know I love this Vanity Planet face steamer it's super affordable and it works really well all you do is just pop this open and put some water in the water bank and then it steams and I'll use that while I am cleansing my face. Then after the mask, I'll use this ultrasonic face scrubber, which I love. It just really helps me in my problem areas, like my nose area, my chin, basically where I get those little breakouts. And I'll use that. And then to finish off when I'm moisturizing, I like to use my face roller. This one actually vibrates, so it's really nice. And then I'll use that and the more precise lifting tool.
getting ready for dinner at my in-laws house tonight it is Christmas Eve and I thought I'd take you guys along the makeup that I plan on doing I saw a really nice tutorial by Dara Levitan put her page up here um, she recreated like a Hailey Bieber glowy look so that's what we're going for tonight and I'm basically using all drugstore products except for one or two things so I'm gonna be starting with the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer next I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer and put a little bit on my hand and mix it with the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion just for a little extra glow then she gets into underpainting and I'm going to try the NYX Wonder Stick today. I wanted to try a little bit of a lighter shade for underpainting, so I'm going to take this and just put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then take my contour brush, rub it in there, and then apply it to my face where I usually contour. Now I'm going to use my concealer to help the contour and I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Radiant Concealer. Now that I'm all blended, I'm going to take the Essence Hydro Hero Tinted Cream and I'm going to put a very little bit on my hands. I'm going to take the same brush that I use to add the Fenty Glow Primer and the Lumi Glow Drops and lightly tap over the areas that I had my concealer and start blending in. Now we're going to go into eyes and I'm going to use the Anima Eye Primer. I'm going to start with this pinky tone color just in the crease. Next, I'm going to take this little bit of a darker brown color and just add it to the corner. I'm going to add this shivery part of the eye and I have this NYX Multi-Use Face Stick. Pretty sparkly beige color. I add it into the corners. And a little bit on the lid in the center. Also adding a little bit on the brow bone just for some extra highlight. Then I'm going to use my NARS blush and I'm going to put a little bit on my hand instead of directly on my face this time. A little bit goes a long way with this blush. Then I'm going to add some concealer in the corner and at the outer corner of my eye just to make sure that they are lifted. Then I'm going to use my Nima bronzer to just tie everything together. up the brows, curling the eyelashes, and of course using my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And this is the final. So I'm going to end the vlog off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and I hope you join me for my next one. Bye guys.